Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, I rise today to give voice to many of my constituents who, as we approach the fifth Veterans Day since the Iraq War began, are as concerned as ever over our seemingly endless presence in that country and ever dimming prospects for peace. I have received a surge of prayers from my constituents regarding the war in recent weeks and would like to read two from Orange, Connecticut, and I quote, Loving God, inspire our leaders in Congress to release your spirit of wisdom, courage, and love, and end the war, death, and suffering in Iraq, end quote. From Hamden, Connecticut, I pray that the hearts and minds of those making decisions concerning the war in Iraq be open to finding viable, peaceful alternatives to continuing the war. I pray the withdrawal of troops commence immediately and continue steadily over the shortest period possible to bring them all home. I pray that the light of God will fall upon the country and Iraq and bring peace in that place. It is well past time to listen to these prayers, redeploy our troops, and bring them safely home. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Yield back. Gentleman yields back her time. The gentleman from